Hello, our names are Mark and Patricia Charters. Our mission is to reach out to communities in Africa to provide various forms of aid, support and resources with a focus on spiritual and humanitarian goals. The rest of this presentation is designed to show you how and why we feel led to do this and how you can help if you so choose. So, what's the crisis and what's the response? If we look at the health challenges facing South Africa, the high burden of infectious diseases such as HIV and AIDS, tuberculosis, non-communicable diseases are on the rise such as diabetes and hypertension. 2% of Americans are living in extreme poverty compared to 25% in South Africa. High levels of violent crime as well are causing stress to the population. So what's the crisis in Africa? Whilst the rest of the world is moving forward, Africa is being left behind. Conflict, uh, poverty, crime, health pandemics, all trapping many African communities in extreme vulnerability. Whilst previously poorest nations are escaping poverty, sub-Saharan Africa is worsening. This is a map of the United Nations World Poverty Clock, and you can see the highest rates of extreme poverty are located in Central and South Africa. By 2030, Africa is projected to have 90% of the world's extreme poor. Whilst the rest of the world is moving out of poverty, Africa is getting worse. So that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honoured, every part rejoices with it. 1 Corinthians 12, 25, 26 So our first partnership is with New Faith Church in Cape Province, South Africa. Pastors Dion and Abigail Sagers, based in Ottery Community, which was created as a resettlement camp uh, for Cape Coloreds and other black tribes during the apartheid years, 1948 to 1994. It's a self-established community having to create its own utilities. It has to struggle with government corruption, regular power and water outages, poor law enforcement and families getting caught up in gang violence. New Faith Church is leading community and health and social care improvements, and it has its own child and youth development wing. It also has a, a cooperative farm that it's developing at Nelsport. Here we can see the church and the metal railings that surround it. Here we have a newsletter from the Ottery Welfare Network. In the apartheid years, separation and racial segregation was a core element of the policy. The Group Areas Act of 1950 segregated blacks from whites and from coloreds. It created racially segregated residential areas. These policies included forced removals of non-white communities from their traditional homelands. Those of us that follow Christ's teaching know that we have a biblical mandate to care for the poor, widowed and orphaned. Jesus, who reveals himself in the least, the forgotten, the hungry, and the thirsty, the stranger, and the lonely. New Faith Church builds relationships with local people, advocating for the most vulnerable within the community. It does this with in-reach and outreach, delivery of direct services, local community leadership, and liaison with schools, businesses, and other churches, including NGOs and, indeed, the central government. In this next slide, we can see the central vision that 
New Faith Church has for the local community to create the church as a life centre and a hub for support and community development, including basic facilities and building relationships. These videos show you the gang warfare and drug fights that take place surrounding New Faith Church. You can see the metal fencing that doesn't stop bullets from ricocheting through. So what's New Faith's response? To build resilience in vulnerable children and their families and communities, building self-sufficiency, safety and prosperity. Firstly, screening church members and parishioners from gunfire by building a concrete wall, mobilizing and uniting local churches and communities to foster a community of safety, belonging, care and empowerment. They want to extend church facilities and build a cooperative farm at Nelsport for food production, employment, apprenticeships and alternative to gang membership. New Faith Church also provides a number of direct services, education and childcare resources, as well as sharing God's love and grace for all people.
Here we can see the wall that New Faith Church wants to erect to surround the perimeter of the church and protect children and families from stray bullets. So if you feel moved to help New Faith Church in this area of South Africa, then here are our contact details. Please let us know how you would like to help. Testimony. 